Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Fallout 76 2021 roadmap. There's some pretty cool and interesting stuff in this, so let's get right into it. Okay, here it is, the roadmap. Uh, first up, we've got Spring, Locked and Loaded. Prepare yourself for Year 3 of Fallout 76 with an update focused on ways to upgrade your camp, your person, and your arsenal. As you can see, we've got the icon for the Armor Ace in Cold Steel. That's the season theme. Uh, we've got an indication for camp slots, special loadouts, and the first expansion to daily ops, plus crafting sliders, console aim assist for controllers, and uh, camp mannequins. All this stuff is on the PTS, plus I made a video talking about the camp slots and the special loadouts if you want to check those out. So we know about all this stuff already, and it's currently being tested. So you guys can either uh, you know check out a video looking at each feature, or you can hop on the PTS if you're available to check it out yourself. Next, we have Summer, Steel Rain. Forge the future of the Appalachian Brotherhood in the conclusion of the Brotherhood of Steel storyline. Complete new quests, meet new NPCs, explore new locations, and earn powerful new rewards. Looks like we have an icon for the season theme, and it's called Escape from the 42nd Century. Interesting. I don't know. Maybe that's a time-traveling thing. Maybe that has to do with the Katie Inkwell character comic thing, perhaps. It looks like the features for this season are going to be crafting legendaries and legendary power armor, as well as unlimited ranks for seasons. So I'm wondering if this is a, uh, after you finish the 100 ranks on the scoreboard, it must include a new system for either XP or currencies or something like that, kind of a, a post-leveling type deal. I don't know how exactly how this crafting system is going to work for legendaries. Hopefully it's hopefully it allows us to pick really specific roles so we can cut down on the ridiculous grind. And uh, I'm, I'm curious to see what legendary effects the power armor will have and how it will fit into the meta going forward. It might actually make power armor somewhat viable, but we'll see. Uh, very interesting. Very interesting. We saw some indication of this on the PTS as the... Uh, naming conventions for the power armor was updated to to allow I think the dynamic changes when you have legendary effects and all that. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we have to, we're gonna have to wait till this summer. Hopefully it'll be on the next PTS patch. Next we have fall. Worlds are changing. Stay tuned later this year for the next evolution of private worlds. And it doesn't look like there's an icon for season six. And it looks like we'll get an expansion for daily ops again during this fall. So there was some indication and or a leak that there was some some new changes and stuff coming to private worlds, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see what exactly those are. Hopefully that will include mod support or something like that. And this winter, tales from the stars. Stars have aligned in the wasteland. Marvel at the discovery of new legends and the reappearance of an Appalachian myth. It looks like we don't have an icon for season seven, but it looks like we've got a picture here of uh, someone pointing at a UFO. Maybe, maybe it's aliens. Maybe it has something to do with those uh, those guide stones and all that uh, alien stuff they got data mined, which you can check out on the data mining Discord. But it looks like the features for this season are going to be four star legendaries. Uh, great. Uh, very curious to see how these will be implemented and and if it's going to include the the fourth star effects that we already know about or whether there will be new ones. I'm curious whether it's going to be a deal like they're a fixed thing, like the cursed weapons. I wonder if we're going to be able to craft them or if it's going to be raid gear or something like that. I, I'm very curious about this. I, I'm wondering if it's going to be tradable. A lot of stuff I want to know about that. Looks like we've got a seasonal event called The Ritual. And... Something called Invaders from Beyond, Public Challenge, and Daily Op Surprises. So that just seems like a catch-all for random stuff, <laughs> honestly. So new challenges and, and new stuff you get from them. Uh, some new stuff in Daily Ops, perhaps. And it looks like Camp Pets will finally be coming during this, this season. So those have already been data mined. It looks like mostly those are going to be the Creation Club dogs and cats and etc. But... Anyway, people have been asking for pets for a long time. I'm glad to see this inclusion. Uh, if you don't care about pets, then maybe you don't care. But, you know, who doesn't like a, a good dog? Okay, guys, here it is, the Inside of the Vault article. It says, This week, we're sharing a look at what's coming to Fallout 76 in 2021 with an all-new roadmap. Once you've digested that, we have an upcoming developer AMA where you can ask all your burning Fallout 76 questions. And here's the roadmap. It also says, Over the years, we've made a lot of changes and additions to Fallout 76 to continually improve your experience. And 2021 is no different. 
we continue to build on to Fallout 76 and introduce new ways to play. Here's what to expect this year. Spring, get locked and loaded with our spring update, introducing special loadouts, camp slots, mannequins, and an all new daily ops expansion. This update is just loaded with new features to explore. For a deeper look at the new features, check out our Inside the Vault article here. Can't wait to see these new features for yourself. Players who own Fallout 76 on the Bethesda.net launcher can test out all our new features and more in our current iteration of the PTS right now. Additionally, we hope you haven't packed away all your snow gear just yet. As the Armor Ace returns, this time in a fierce battle against Commissar Chaos and the Yukon 5. Season 4 brings all new rewards to the scoreboard from cosmetics to consumables and everything in between. Last year we met the Appalachian Brotherhood of Steel, witnessed a conflict between the ranks, and discovered new obstacles in their path. Steel Rain concludes the story of the Brotherhood, introducing all new quests, locations, NPCs, and powerful new rewards. Whose side will you take? Your choices will change the wasteland. To survive the wasteland, you'll need good gear. This summer, craft specific legendary items using legendary modules. Tailor your build to perfect your playstyle. This fall, the winds of change are coming, and with it, an evolution to private worlds. Stay tuned to the future Inside of the Vault articles for more information as we get closer to release. We're also bringing another expansion to Daily Ops to bring you even more ways to play. This winter, you're already a legend in the wasteland, but are you truly legendary? Gear up with all new 4-star legendary weapons and armor. Then, after you've spent a long day foraging in the wasteland, come home to your new very own camp pet. Face off against all new dangers with an all new out of this world event. Public challenge. Invaders from beyond will unite everyone across the server to complete challenges. Face off against all new foes and earn some stellar new rewards. The cultists of Appalachia are up to something sinister in a brand new seasonal event, The Ritual. Help the cultists and Point Pleasant prepare for an exciting and dangerous ritual. And they'll repay you with unique rewards. And then lastly, we have an upcoming developer AMA. With the introduction of our 2021 roadmap, we're sure you are just brimming with questions. Head over to the Fallout 76 subreddit tomorrow, March 23rd at 1130 Eastern Daytime to participate in the second official AMA. We'll have developers Jeff Gardner, the project lead, and Mark Tucker, the design director, ready to answer your questions related to future content of Fallout 76. We're excited to hear what you think of all the new features and additions coming to Fallout 76 this year and can't wait to read all your questions in the developer AMA. Can't make it to the AMA? No worries. We'll have a wrap-up ready for you in next week's Inside the Vault article. Until then, see you next time. Well, there it is, folks, the Inside of the Vault article for the 2021 roadmap. Lots of interesting things in this. It looks like they've gone out of their way to deliberately not answer a lot of questions. Hopefully, they will answer a bunch of those questions in tomorrow's AMA. But until then, I guess we're just going to have to wildly and rampantly speculate. Hopefully, everything is good. Hopefully, everything works and isn't completely broken. However, I am a bit cross with the fact I'm going to have to help some degenerate cultists with their disgusting ritual. But it is what it is. Thanks for watching, guys.